even with crews on site, this building still stands as a wide open reminder of the crash which tore through their town. I was devastated. I could not believe. I, I, I wondered why they didn't go straight, why they went into the building. After seeing the crash in Ithaca, businesses are now coming together to help everyone involved in the tragedy. From neighbors living upstairs to the barber shop next door to the employees at Simeon's who now don't have a job. Our city took a collective hit itself and how does how does everybody help put a little piece of it back together is what we're looking to do. Even five dollars would help. Yes, oh, definitely because it's it's a sad thing to happen. I mean, a lot of people got hurt. A lot of people will be without apartments. A lot of people will be without jobs. Yeah. And look at Simeon. My God, it's going to kill them. Flowers, messages, and candles out in front of Simeon's show just how much this community cares. At a benefit this upcoming Tuesday at Stewart Park, neighbors and businesses are being asked to bring anything which can be helpful, from food to money to baby products. People who live in the apartments above are uh, suddenly homeless. I can't imagine how that uh, feels like to go to work one day and come back and everything's different. Your life just kind of gets you know thrown around. In addition to helping those who are struggling to live, this benefit will also go to help Amanda Bush, who was the only victim in the crash. The largest victim of that crash was Amanda Bush and her 14-month-old daughter. Madison, and she's a bright, beautiful young girl, but she's going to have to grow up without her mother. And, um, and she's going to need all of our support for a very long time. Neighbors helping neighbors through a difficult time when community support is needed now more than ever. Reporting from Ithaca, I'm Alex Rosilla.